Okay, take two. Uh, so we're gonna go back, we'll just go back to the home page. Sorry, my computer died, so we are restarting this from scratch. Uh, this video is for downloading MATLAB. If you already have MATLAB, you're great. If you wanna update it to the nearest, the nearest, the newest version of 2022, this is great for you. Um, so this is geared towards 264. Now, if you were in 262, again, you should already have it. Um, if you're in 374, you should already have it, but this video will work as well. It should all be located in the same place. So downloading MATLAB. Maybe you got a new computer from 262. We're in class resources. Let's get rid of this. Um, we're gonna go down to MATLAB and Simulink student link. We will click on the link. It'll pull open this. Now, I'm gonna click on this button here, sign in to get started. It's going to prompt you for your GCU email. That's what you want to use, your at my.gcu email along with your associated password. Now, when I click on it, I'm already signed in, so it's going to skip that step. So I'm already here. Once you have signed in through your GCU email and password, it should take you to this step. You might have to create an account. So that might be the only thing missing from this video. It looks like it says this license is already linked to your MathWorks account. So if you don't have an account, you'll have to go make one. Um, it should prompt you on how to make one right there. After you do that, it says download the installer to the computer and uh, run the installer. So let's go ahead and download the installer. Download for Windows, 209 megabytes. If you do run into hardware issue, uh, let me know. Uh, now I'm just gonna go yeah, I guess we'll do this. I'll do it again. We'll just have some extra, an extra copy in my downloads. So it should pop up in your downloads. You should be able to open it. Now it's going to start doing this unzipping, so I'm going to pause the video. This might take about a minute or so, depending on what you have as far as hardware on your computer. So I'll pause. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So once you unzip, there should have been like a box that popped up that you needed to click yes to. After you do that, right, now this box should pop up. And again, I'm just gonna use my GCU email. And I still have the my.gcu email as well until my email gets updated in three days. Uh, password, so again, at this time, if you didn't have an account, it should have you make one if it didn't already do so and sign over your life. I'm joking. MATLAB probably wouldn't appreciate that. Uh, so, but we do, you have to agree to the license. Um, we do want the MATLAB license, so we click next. Apparently my username is Clay Clay. I bought this computer a long time ago. All right, we're just gonna go through that. Uh, so this is gonna select a destination for the folder right, program files, MATLAB on your main hard drive. Um, you can change this if you want to, there's no need to. So this might take a second, so again, I'm gonna pause the video so we're not just staring at this screen. All right, we're back, let's get rid of that. Um, let's click on Simulink as well. Now, all these different toolboxes do come in handy, but I don't believe we really need any. Um, and if we do want them, eventually we can go back and pick up the ones that we want. Navigation toolbox. Seeing if there's anything that I remember off the top of my head that would be useful. Um, simulink, simulink. I don't even know if we need the simulink, but we can download it. MATLAB and simulink. We're not even going to download simulink. Just go back to MATLAB. Just push next. Uh, improve MATLAB by sending user experience information to MATLAB. No, that's okay. We're going to add the shortcuts shortcuts uh, to the desktop. Um, actually, I'm not. I'll just search for it. I like keeping the desktop clean. Uh, I don't need to send them information. That's fine. Licensing. 
begin install. Okay, so again, this might take a second. I am going to again pause the video. Lots of pausing, but no need to watch. Just an update. We are halfway there. Almost halfway there. All right, see you guys at the end. All right, so install is complete. All right, we can close it. And I think that's it, everyone. Let's go ahead. Let's check it out. Ooh, okay, so I still have an old version of MATLAB. Let's see if multiple things come up. Okay, so I do have two of them. I have this two. Let's go ahead and deactivate. So, ooh, Apple people, I am sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and see what, I know I can do an uninstall. Yeah, which is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna uninstall the 2019 version of MATLAB. So let's see what happens here. This is good. Okay, so uninstall, we're looking for M for MATLAB. We want this, and I think that is it. Where do we go? Do we just click uninstall? Yeah, so we get rid of that old version. Something should pop up here. Maybe not. Something. Anytime would be great. Help me out. Do I need to click it again? Mm. Please wait the, until the current program is. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. So it's doing its job. Um, so Apple people take this time to figure out how you uninstall programs if you are updating from the 2019 or whatever version before, right? So if you already had a copy and you're updating, right, make sure you uninstall. Um, and I think that's it, guys. So if you need to uninstall, you can uninstall. Um, if this is your first time, Ooh, so I had a bunch of different stuff that we got last time, huh? I downloaded all of it. Ooh, okay. Well, we can uninstall all of that. So if we end up needing more stuff, we'll go grab it, but I think we should be fine. So I'm gonna conclude this video. If the last part you need to do is uninstall, you are good. As you can see, it's doing its part. So until the next video, right, which actually we should get into some material for 264, this is all just stuff to take care of beforehand. So until the next video, I will see you then. See you in class. All right, have a good one, guys.